Good morning, good morning. The pigs have been out for almost a week now. Um, and we just can't have that. They've already done a lot of damage. We'll cover that later. Um, but right now I'm gonna tell you what we did. Here are the little pigs. And there are the three big pigs, and we just put them all in this electric fence training area to get them reused to respecting that electric fence. And it seems to be working well. We're not going to feed them yet, though, because we want them to follow food to their new area, and I'll show it to you shortly. I had shrunk their area to this very small, well, comparatively small, area because they used to have that strip that went all the way up to the barn and then all the way down here and this is going to be our pumpkin patch but we don't want to plant pumpkins until june or july so we're going to keep them in there to kind of root it up and eat all the johnson grass that grows and everything until we come along with you know cardboard and <laughs> the old hay and get it looking right but we watched Joel Salatin's video, and I'll link it, but here we have a nice big area, and it goes up the hill and into the woods. And Joel Salatin mentioned that he uses the trees as a natural shelter for his pigs. So that is a very viable option, as we have lots and lots of trees. This area in the trees here is going to be the perfect spot for them to come in. We, I am a bit worried about Mr. Pig shorting out the fence with these tires, but right now they're so buried we can't get them out. Um, so maybe he'll help us loosen them out. And in the meantime, we have a good little space for them. And then we're also using pallets as wooden gates because the pigs can rub up on it and um, not get shocked. So when we need to move them, we won't be training them to escape the fence. Eventually, we want to take reclaimed wood from the barn and make a gate. But for now, this is not going anywhere at all. So we're going to run a fence behind it, but it can't be too close to the metal poles. Um, eventually, we're going to get some insulated wire and put it behind it, but for now, we're just going to have the three wires go out in one strand around it, and the pigs won't know the difference, so it'll work out for now, and later on, when we have more money, we can do it. Because honestly, even though the pigs have been out and, you know, causing ruckus, that, that's not even the most stressful part. Um, our car died while we were driving it and we bought a truck but it's not working at the moment so um, we're borrowing a vehicle from our very generous um, family members but yeah um, money's tight so we're gonna have to be super careful and frugal so we're using what we've got so we have big plans for the pigs this summer we're going to make several of these places with the doors between them. And we're excited because we just finished this. We need to make sure that it's all done. But I'm really glad that people like Joel Salatin have their YouTube videos to learn from. And I hope that some people can learn from our videos too, as well. Um, so I hope if you came here looking for how to keep your pigs in, that this video was a help to you. And um, I am excited to show you just how well this works, I hope. Um, we would normally have, normally it takes a lot longer than a couple days to fence train a pig, but because, But because they had been fence trained before, they just needed a quick refresher course. And in fact, Mr. Pig didn't even want to get in <laughs> to the um, fence training arena. Now we're still 
going to use the charger that's connected to the house voltage, which will be a nice hot fence for now. And then we also ordered one that is solar powered that takes a whole lot more, um, that has a whole lot more of a kick to it. So that way, uh, So that way, when we want to move the pigs and whatnot, we can move the solar charger and take care of things and it's not running off of the house. Cause that's, and it's not running off, off of the house because over the years that would end up taking more um, electricity than we'd prefer. As you can see, all of the pigs are respecting the fence. So they are properly trained. I did learn that freezing temperatures can damage the batteries. And because the temperatures dropped to negative six, I assume that's what happened to our old charger. They're hungry, which is perfect. All right, let's see what they did. So you had seen that they dented the trash can before. I think we can still get the lid on because the circle itself seems to be okay. But they busted the door to the chicken house. So now we can't open or close it. Um, it's pried quite hard. I can kind of kick it open to get in there, but we're gonna have to take the whole door off and try to redo it. They also, when they got in there, they ate all of the chicken feed. So that's not fun. And honestly, Brandon and I were about ready to sell them all. But uh, we talked hard about it. We really, really like the um, sausage and uh, the, well, the meat that comes from them. It's the best I've ever had. Um, actually, I would have said before we grew our own that I don't like pork, but I really like ours. I, I don't care to buy any from the store because it ends up being kind of um, gross and <laughs> dry, a little flavorless, but ours was delicious. And I can't wait until those little piggies grow up. But back to the point, they also, um, they'll also help clear the land. So we're not just going to put them in that one small area, but in the height of summer, they'll be clearing next to the fences like we had been hoping the goats would do. And then finally, um, I mean, a food shortage is coming. So if we can raise our own food, that would be perfect. And then there's one more, so sorry. Uh, that was a pre finally, and this is the actual finally. But, um, they're our biggest money makers on the homestead, so we definitely want to keep them. Anyway, let's get them to their place. Also, I hadn't told you all, but we're down to just these two goats, and I have started milking Hope. Um, I'll do that in another video, because this video is mostly just about the pigs. What you got there? This looks like the ordinary person. A bucket of slop for the pigs and some grain <laughs> but it's actually going to be a new way to lead the pigs to their promised land and to lock them away there until we say they get out they don't get it till we say we get out so it's, it's actually leading them into captivity never mind Just that out, maybe. now this is the last bit of bad fence training because we're gonna have them walk through where the electric fence was. <laughs> wow, they're hungry. Are you hungry? That's good. That's how we designed it. Mr. Pig! Woo! Yo, Mr. Pig! Yo, you're so handsome. Go on over and have some. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm the pig. Oh, this is good. Even though they're so hungry, they still don't want to cross that line. That bodes well for us. Come 
That's right. Here's, it's okay, Charlotte. Here's the first volunteer. The bashful bachelor. No, Bruce Piggy. Let's go get it Mr. Pig, you missed it on the apples and the eggs, but I got a tomato in here at the very bottom. You want an apple? Not you. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we want him to be scared of the electric fence. All right, but we need to back away from him to give him some room, Maddie, so out of that way. Mr. Pig! Woo! Have him smell it here. <laughs> How can you not see that everyone's out and safe? This spot is really too small for you anyway. You mean for just you? <laughs> yeah. I think he smells the bucket over there. It's a little trail. I would let you eat the connector if you would just come. <laughs> But this is really, really good. Because he's trained to the fence and he won't get out for that fence because this has a weaker shock than that one does over there. Your lady is over there. <laughs> Your lady is over there. I'm not hurt. That's right. Back away, Abby. Back away that way. No, no, that's wrong. That's... You your big fruit. There you go. Okay. No, it's no, okay. no, no screaming. It's okay. He's going to follow Mr. the food bucket. Tubbo. If we can get these guys locked out, they'll be a lot easier to get in. Maybe they'll just go in on their own accord because that's home.
Look what fell out. I got a tomato. Uh, uh, Mr. Pig. Like breadcrumbs. Maybe if he won't follow a bucket, he'll f follow little bites. But these are hardly well, like breadcrumbs for him. <laughs> Right, you have to turn the corner for the no, we'll drop it down, honey. Mr. Pig. You were so close, I'm, I'm out of apple. Okay, we'll throw some feed down. There's Mr. Pig in the trash I threw out of there. And there's the gate. No, no, please. Oh, yeah. Mr. Pig. No, 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 no. No! Throw some out to him, honey. Mr. Pig! <sighs> oh, that was good, wasn't it? That was enough to turn your head. I might have another one in here. I'm not promising anything, but I might. Abby, go get the tomatoes out of the fridge. Run! I would make a little trail that leads in there, if I were you. I mean a little trail of feed. Yeah. Do you think it's too narrow for him? No. He'll just barely squeeze through. What? That right there is a good shot. That'll be the... <laughs> Where else on YouTube can you see a pig's butt? I hope you have some. No, 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 Mr. Big, no, 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 come here, come here, there's more, there's more, come on, yeah, don't eat the bottle, I'm sorry, there's no electric fence there, okay, honey, there's none, no, 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 Mr. Big, Mr. Big, Okay, so we tried a different gate that didn't have the electricity on it before, and he's going right in. Oh, wow. Unfortunately, in the process, we destroyed the fence a bit, but it's easy to fix. Well, at this point in the video, I'm usually walking to the chicken house after being inside eating dinner and taking care of things, but now it's, um, it's pretty much night. And we just finished putting the pigs in. Here's hoping that that keeps them in and that they don't escape again. Um, and if you're a praying person, if you could pray that we can get the car fixed and our finances will be okay and that the pigs will stay in. Thank you. And thanks for watching.